The Toronto Raptors pull out another extremely disappointing performance, which makes fans wonder, at 15 and 20, is it time to throw in the towel on this season? Welcome, everybody, to Amateur Hour. We're going to talk about the Raptors' loss to the Grizzlies. They lose 119 to 106 in this one. Raptors tried to make it interesting late in this game, but at the end of the day, the Grizzlies just continued to pull away from the Raptors. It was a really tough one to watch here. Grizzlies were comfortable all throughout the game. All of, like The Grizzlies got out to like a 13 to 4 lead, and then I think at one point it was 25 to 20. Other than that, the Raptors made a nine-point game late, but they were never even really sniffing a, a chance at getting back in this game, unfortunately. The Grizzlies completely ran over the Toronto Raptors tonight, and it's once again highlighting the major concerns with this team. From an offensive perspective, no Fred Van Vliet tonight. Naturally, you're going to get a little bit less offensively, but you still got decent numbers. Siakam had another outstanding night. 8 for 19 shooting, 25 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. You got good output from Barnes in the end. OG was inefficient but put up points. Gary Trent, another stellar game. But, man, I know the Grizzlies are good, but you just cannot stop the ball. You cannot get stops. Ivica Zubac a couple of nights ago beat us up on the inside. And today, it was Steven Adams. Steven Adams just consistently beat down the Raptors in the paint, and there was consistently no answers. The rebounding was much better in the second half for Toronto, but it was a problem. The Raptors still do not have a rim protector, and until they can address that issue with the team, they are going to be going nowhere this season because, oh my goodness, there are just there's just nobody here who can stop the ball from going in our own basket when it's in the paint. As we get to the points in the paint in this game, I think it's going to be rather ugly unless the Raptors made it respectable late on. Steven Adams dropped 14 points tonight. He had 17 rebounds, and he had eight offensive rebounds. He also got three assists. One of those assists occurred on a jump ball. It was a jump ball that just just batted forward, and John Morant was wide open and went and laid it in. Like, like the simple things like that that consistently plagued the Raptors all game. Picking up shooters, how Desmond Bain can be wide open for a catch and shoot three, not like he's a top two three point shooter in the NBA and you leave him wide open. Inexcusable sort of, of positioning on defense and rotating and just picking up your guy in general. Also for the Grizzlies, you let Dylan Brooks absolutely explode on you, which is annoying to see. John Morant had 17 assists. Oh my goodness. Their bench contributed in, in, in ways that they needed them to. Brutal game from a defensive standpoint. Absolutely brutal game from a defensive standpoint. At least there was some decent things to talk about offensively. Uh, Siakam, like, like I said, another really good night for him. Barnes was atrocious in the first half, came alive in the second half, ended up having a 14-point double-double. I really question Nick Nurse starting Hernan Gomez and Coloco, two guys who are dead on offense and don't give you anything. Another game where Wancho really does nothing for you all game. Also another game where OG and always plus-minus is horrendous, as was Siakam. Somehow you get a plus-10 from Boucher. Down looked really good and should earn some more minutes. Flynn... Back to kind of what you normally got from a 2-for-12 game. We'll see if he can bounce back tomorrow against the Suns. Another really good game for Gary, albeit it's met with some not great defense. You're consistently getting good shooting performances from Gary. I think it's time to start playing him more minutes in that six-man role. The team stats where we're going to really heighten where things went wrong. The Raptors actually, again, don't shoot the ball particularly bad from three. They do from the field. Memphis were all over us on offense. They had... The offensive rebounding going their way in the first half. Things kind of cleaned up as the Raptors were down by 20 and made it kind of a a fake comeback, as people would say it is. But the Grizzlies, I don't think a lot of these really showcase how bad it was. The Grizzlies thoroughly dominated this game. They were never really uncomfortable in any way. 
Yeah, we got it to nine points, but that is about it. Um, the Grizzlies trounced us. So the Raptors, 15 and 20 on the season. Phoenix tomorrow. The Raptors are underdogs today. I, didn't, I expect them to lose. Did not expect them to lose this bad, though. Um, Phoenix tomorrow. Raptors are going to be favored for that game just because with that Phoenix game, Devin Booker is not going to be available. Raptors are at home, but even if you win that, you're either 16 and 20 or 15 and 21. I don't think any trades are going to happen in the next two weeks, but I, I, I think it's, it's going to get to a point here where you look at the season, the Raptors went into today. I don't know where they are now, but they went into today two and a half games back of six. It's going to take a big effort to pass a lot of these teams and get into a playoff position. And when you get into that playoff position, I'm looking at Celtics, Bucks, two superpower teams. Philly are really good. Cleveland are really good and better than expected. And then all of a sudden, Brooklyn look exceptional. So now you're looking at Brooklyn like a team. And if you make the playoffs, you're getting one of those five seemingly in the first round. You got to work, do all that work, it seems, to get to that point and get one of those teams in the first round. This team is in desperate need of a center, but it's really getting to the point where you're really questioning, is it worth it to make the playoffs this season? Like I said, I've wanted to wait until the end of this stretch. We have one more game in this stretch. If we lose tomorrow to the Suns, I think this season's a wash. We win that. Our schedule lightens up a little bit in January. We can see. I don't think there's any trades that are happening in the next week to committing to tanking or not tanking here. But what I saw, what I have seen in the month of December, it's beyond clear. This team's broken. It needs a center desperately. And the front office has to do something. They either need to get us the center we desperately need, or they need to commit to selling the players like Gary Trent, who are on expiring contracts and bringing in the assets. They cannot leave this team how it is. They absolutely, positively cannot leave this team for what it is because this is the second game in a row and uh, many in December where they get completely and utterly destroyed in the paint all throughout the game. I actually didn't even check the points in the paint from this one. Let, let's, let's pull that up here. Points in the paint. The Grizzlies had 70 points in the paint today. It's very clear what the biggest problem is this team. The front office needs to either do something about that or take us in the other direction 100%. But we have a game tomorrow. This team still wants to fight. This team still wants to win games. You see like Siakam, he's grinding out there. It doesn't matter. You see everybody, Scotty Barnes grinding. Everybody's out there working their hardest all throughout these games. And I'm sure it hurts them to be losing these games. But the front office needs to send a message about what direction the franchise is going to be going this season. Because right now, we're in a really tough spot. Absolutely. It's really tough to watch these games. Because, you know, the Tampa season is bad. I watched, still watched all the games. But, like, at least, you know, you're playing in a different country. You're playing so far from home. You had all the, the guys missing for health and safety protocols. But this season... Like, we really, really should be kicking on this season. The fact that we are five games under 500 is, uh, is shocking and really showcasing that, uh, that this team is broken. And that's all I really have to say. Thanks so much for watching this. Um, let's do it all tomorrow. I'm doing a live stream on Amateur Sports tomorrow as the Raptors play the Phoenix Suns. Be there 30 minutes for the scheduled start time at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the content. It goes a long way to supporting and uh, helps us get on some more recommended pages. Really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe for more Raptors content just like this.